Hi, George Durkee with Columbia College uh, GIS and a quick video on how to install your student version of ArcGIS 10. We'll be using uh, ArcGIS 10.7, but uh, this is pretty much true for uh, uh, any version. So in your email, you should have gotten a uh, license key from me and a link to sign in to esri.com slash student edition and uh, so you just click on that and go to this opening page here. The student trial edition uh, will give you a one-year uh, license uh, and uh, also it'll give you a license to ArcGIS Pro. And from here uh, we'll uh, uh, either create a new ESRI account or use an existing ESRI account if you have one. This is a uh, one-year license and you get uh, a bunch of extensions with it. Uh, some of them we'll go over in the class. And uh, we're going to set this up as a brand new account, though if you have an existing one, as I said, you can, uh, you can use that. So click on that and that brings you into the uh, sign up for your ESRI account and that's just standard uh, uh, first name, last name, and email. So go ahead and fill that in. And the ESRI account uh, allows you to do other things. You can have uh, through that an ArcGIS Online account where you can uh, create maps online and uh, it also gives you access to other uh, apps uh, from from ESRI and then just uh, approve and go to next and they'll send you an email here and uh, the email gives uh, instructions and a link to uh, uh, where you download the program from or programs there's several of them you can get so go ahead and uh, copy and paste that and then uh, you actually set up the public account here and uh, put in uh, a username that you'll you'll want for that account and uh, your password and then obviously the exact same password and then finally a security question and create the account. And here's where you type in your EVA license uh, that I sent you uh, and just either copy and paste if you have it right there or copy it uh, uh, from the email and now you can activate your account and now uh, choose which uh, specific version of ARC 10 you want. We're going to use ARC 10.7 and you can also, uh, if you want, uh, uh, download ARC Pro. Um, and uh, I'll talk about Pro a little bit later. And then it gives you the instructions uh, on uh, um, what you need. And we'll come back to that, but uh, uh, we'll scroll down and take a look at what uh, uh, programs you can actually download. And you're looking for ARC GIS uh, Desktop and uh, you can also download instructions there but just go ahead and hit download and you can see it'll give you the amount of time it's going to take you uh, in this case it's going to take about uh, 28 30 minutes or something like that so it's a while so uh, make yourself a cup of coffee or something take a look at some of the other programs you you can get you can get ARC Pro and uh, that's um, a newer version of ARC desktop it's pretty good but we're not covering it in this 
course. And then uh, go ahead and scroll up and take a look at the system requirements. Uh, one of the main ones is you'll need um, uh, a, a Net Framework uh, 10.4. And uh, oh, and I'm sorry, you, you can also just take a look at um, which uh, platform. Uh, for, for the system requirements. So we're going to need uh, Net Framework uh, 10.4 and if you look up on Google how to check for the version because you may not know what you have and then you can uh, uh, use this command line to check for the version you have and so to do that what you'll do is you'll go into uh, uh, your Windows uh, uh, box there and type CMD and that'll bring up your uh, command line uh, utility and then just go ahead and copy uh, that uh, command line there and hit uh, enter and then magically it'll tell you uh, which versions of net you have and whether or not uh, you need to, to upgrade and actually having said that uh, it tells you if it's already got a version there, but I'll just show you. Uh, you, you follow the link and you go uh, to download it. And this is the latest version. And once it's downloaded, you just click on it to, uh, to start the install. And then it tells me I've already uh, got it up to date, so so I don't need this. I just close out of that. And now uh, we'll actually install Arc 10 that you just downloaded, and uh, go ahead and uh, open the folder and uh, make sure you look at the file path. It should be in your downloads folder, uh, but wherever uh, you usually download. And uh, I run it as administrator. That's just a good practice to do to make sure there's no problems installing it. And this will take a, a few minutes, uh, five to ten overall. And uh, you know, you get your your path of where you want it installed. Just accept the default for that, and then it starts clicking and whirring. And I'm just running through this pretty quick, and then uh, close out to the next screen. And now you actually go through, uh, uh, you know, agree to it, and next, and uh, take the complete uh, uh, installation unless you really know what you're doing and you can customize it. And then just follow through the screens. And again, this will take a few minutes, get a cup of coffee or something, uh, and I just, I just cut that section so it's going faster. Uh, this is important here. You want to make sure that you uh, check on ARC Info Single Use License uh, as it has in the instructions here. Uh, otherwise, you might have trouble uh, authorizing it. Uh, so it's on the right column, top right. Uh, so just check that. And then uh, 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 we'll authorize it. Just authorize now. And uh, again, just take the default. You want to do it over the internet. And uh, in my version here, and this <clears throat> might be an artifact, but it might show up in yours, is this is the uh, uh, educational rep for uh, uh, the college. So you could just leave that and then put in student. But you could also fill in your name. Um, either one, and then uh, just put down your student, take the drop down. If you have a job or something, put all that in. And now you enter your EVA license that I uh, sent you uh, for the second time. And you can just go back to your email, uh, copy and paste it, or enter it in by hand. I put a 
period there, so it wouldn't allow you to go next. So delete the period. So those are all the extensions uh, uh, you're getting with the with the educational version, uh, which is pretty cool. This is a couple of thousand dollar program that you guys are uh, uh, getting for a, a year. So it'll be good for all your uh, classes, all the other classes you take. And then it clicks and whirs and uh, thinks about it for a while. And with any luck at all, and it doesn't always work, but usually, uh, it, uh, it'll authorize. There we go. Yay. So it tells you uh, uh, where everything is and, and that it's uh, uh, active and all that. So you just click OK. And now let's, uh, let's see if it works. So uh, you can check your programs and go to ArcGIS. And you can see all the stuff you've gotten. You've gotten Arc Pro and Globe and uh, Scene. But we're going to start Arc Desktop 10.7 and uh, just let it start up here. So Arc Scene is the 3D version, and it's pretty cool. And because you have all this stuff, you can actually practice with it. Uh, and uh, uh, there's all sorts of uh, uh, help and lessons online. YouTube uh, can be your friend. So anyway, it worked. Uh, you start off with a blank map, and we'll have that in your lessons. And there we are. Uh, uh, it, it worked. So we're good. You've installed Arc. Uh, be sure to get a hold of me if uh, something didn't work, and uh, I'll help you guys straighten it out. So thanks again for watching, and uh, uh, like I said, once again, contact me if there's, there's problems. Thanks.